They're giving Muro a penalty now, maybe for the standing arm lock. Which one of these clips is the commentator talking about? Which one is Hans Hogomake? The answer is the clip on the left. And which one looks more dangerous? I think the answer to that question is pretty obvious, but what happened in the clip on the right? Absolutely nothing. The match carried on like usual and Murao won by Ipon. So why was Murao given Han Sokumake against Bobanov, but did a much more dangerous version of the same technique a month earlier and nothing happened? Well, I'll give you my answer to that in a minute, but first let's look at a few rules in Judo. So I couldn't actually find the official rules in the IJF documentations, but apparently standing submissions and flying armbars are not allowed but I don't think that Mural was doing a flying armbar. Anyway, regardless, standing submissions are not allowed in Judo. So you might be asking, when is it Tachiwaza and when is it Newaza? Well, the rules say, an opponent on one knee or two knees is still in a position to be scored against with a Tachiwaza technique. With one hand down, it's still possible. If all four limbs are on the floor, it is Newaza. If I bring my partner back up for a throwing action, then it would be newaza. But the moment of change occurs when the moment uke starts to stand up. Then the position can be considered for tachiwaza attacks again. Now, looking at these two images side by side, it's pretty obvious that this is tachiwaza. And so a jujigatami would be an illegal attack at this moment. However, do you think that in both cases, these are Jujigatamis. I think it's obvious the one on the right at Kazan is a Jujigatami. Murao is applying that he is trying to break that guy's arm. But if you watch this clip from the World Championships, you can see that Murao is trying to throw Bobanov. It just so happens that Bobanov's arms are in that position, which is Bobanov's fault. And the only way to throw for a wazari was in that direction. I think the commentator said it the best. So it was Pomanov who jumped in, but the arm was already out. And uh, for Muro, it was quite easy because where the arm is, that is where the shoulder is. And where the shoulder is, well, there you can throw your opponent to his back. Yeah, of course, uh, his coach. So here's my problem with this whole situation. At Kazan, no score was given, which means that there was no need to go to the video officials. The referee standing in the middle is the only person making a decision at that time. He may not have been aware of the rule that you cannot do a standing Jujigatami in Tachiwaza, and the match continued like normal. Now for Murao, he might think, oh, I can do this. I can use this technique and not get penalized for it. He's not learning from his mistakes because the referee isn't picking up on them. And then uh, at the World Championships, he's finding himself in these positions and he's happy about doing that movement because he hasn't been penalized for it before. But at the World Championships, when he's in a similar position, even though he didn't apply the Jujigatami, because it was a Wazari score, they went to the video officials they saw the position, but they didn't look at the intent, the intent to throw, not the intent to take his arm. I do think Murao was just being very aware in that situation. He was thinking, okay, I'm in this position. If it goes to the ground, I have a Jujigatami. But here is an opportunity to score a Wazari in a golden score that will win me this very tough match and move me through the World Championships. So... Uh, two terrible decisions by the referees and uh, there have been other decisions as well against Givenashvili. I'm not going to do a video about that. It is an illegal technique. It's very similar to uh, Yagura Nage that Givenashvili does as well. Um, but I do think the, the IJF, the referees, they need to look at themselves a bit more, maybe clean up their practices because the only person... Uh, who is not benefiting from the situation is Murao 
and we could have had a 20 year old world champion from Japan and uh, that's really disappointing anyway guys that's it from me uh, I hope you like this video let me know what your comments are have I got it right have I got it wrong and uh, let's enjoy the rest of the world championships I'll see you later